Not talking. Talking about something. Good. Talking about. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Obviously, it's just a really hard fight. It's almost, you know, a shame that there had to be a lose. Okay. It was just, it was just a really quality match. Or just had just your general thoughts here after the one. -on -one. Yeah, I thought our team really competed well. We have, I've said it before, we have really good players. Our players play well together. Um, you know, we just talked in the locker room. I think the fun part about this group was um, it wasn't really my team this year. It was their team. It was uh, pretty unique to watch that and watch young people kind of take a lot of ownership of, um, you know, just on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, we missed some opportunities at the end uh, that we just couldn't convert on. But overall, uh, we really competed. I thought we defended really well. Roy Kane. I mean, what a great game he had. Showed, showed what a special player he is and what he can be. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, I think uh, we'll walk out of the locker room, our heads held high, and I still think we're the best team in the region. We just didn't prove it tonight. Coach, you talked about that tight six-man rotation and how well they've played together, especially here in the second half of the year. You had to make an adjustment to it due to foul trouble, but right. Darius Roundtree came in and gave you some, some good defensive minutes. Yeah, Darius is, uh, you know, when he's playing in a, a position that he doesn't normally play, you know, he's normally a forward, played the guard spot, but credit to him, uh, he did a good job on number five for St. Anselm, uh, who's a good player. Um, and Darius is a tough kid. Our guys really like Darius. I, I think that shows up when he's on the floor and they believe in him. Even though he hasn't gotten the minutes he's, uh, he's probably wanted this year, uh, he stepped right in and uh, losing Derek Rome was hard. You know, Derek. I've always said this about Derek. I don't know if he's the best player in the league, but our team functions well when he's on the floor. Um, so, uh, but Darius did an unbelievable job stepping in, and uh, obviously a credit to the guys around him too. The kind of uh, you know, no man's left alone on the floor, and that was definitely true. And I think those guys helped him out too. Roy, career high for you tonight. Um, just seemed like with each successive possession, especially as it got to be crunch time, your confidence was just growing and growing. I mean, it was a it's, a, it's a March Madness, so it's one and done. So, you know, you, you don't want to lose or somebody has to lose in competitive sports. But just shout out to going in and credit to the team. Just find me when I'm open, but give a lot of credit to the team. Shout out to just going in today. Coach, can you speak a little bit about your team's resilience, you know, taking, getting down 11 in the first half, yep. having to fight from behind the whole game. Uh, you have a chance on the stretch to actually win it right. with three shots. And uh, the fact that they just never gave up in a very hostile environment and yep. in a place where you haven't had a lot of success. Yeah, well, we've had some success here. Some, yep, right. We've had some success. Um, but, yeah, we've been resilient all year. We've been in a lot of close games, too. I mean, the, the Northeast 10 prepares you for conference play. Um, you know, we've had a – I think you and I have spoken about this. Our schedule over the last two months has been very, very challenging. When you play a schedule like that, it does prepare you for games like this. I was going to call a timeout early in the half, and then I was thinking about our team, and they really don't get rattled. Um, the personality of our team really has become, you know, Roy Kane's personality and Derek Rowland's personality and Quayshawn Lane as a freshman, his personality. Those guys are very even keeled, and, um, you know, they, they got themselves back in the game and didn't really need my assistance, to be honest with you, which is a credit to them. So, you know, we have just a good group. They were tough, uh, played well, dug ourselves a little bit of a hole, but they came out really, really aggressive. and really pushed the ball uh, at the beginning of the game. But uh, yeah, we, we got back in it and credit to our guys. That's, that's kind of how they've been all year. Coach, it's probably tough at this moment, but do you take a little bit of solace or confidence in the fact that aside from Najee Larcher, this is going to be the same group next year? No, it's a different group. It'll be a different group. Every team is different. Um, I'm excited about our program. I'm excited about guys like Roy Kane, you know, and especially when they become seniors. But, um, you know, we don't think too far ahead. but. We're excited about the group we have coming back. We'll miss Najee. Najee's been a great player in our program for four years and well-liked and uh, just a great kid. But um, we'll probably think about that in a couple of weeks, right, Roy? Yeah. Coach, kind of just talk to us about the difference in this game compared to the game that was played here earlier this year. Yeah. Um, you know, such, such a great amount of time has obviously passed. Yep. But, but what were some of the takeaways from the last game that you really yeah, kind of brought we in? We just didn't play well. Yep. You know, sometimes that happens. Um, we're the number one team in the region in two-point field goal percentage. And again, St. Anne's on the first game, I think we shot, I think it was 38% from two-point range. But as a team, we shoot 58% inside the arc. Uh, we just took poor shot selection. We weren't real patient in the paint. I think that was a little bit better, uh, maybe not early in the game, but definitely throughout the game. But um, sometimes you just don't play well. Um, and that's what happened, I think, in that game. It didn't really phase us much. We got on the bus and got back home and got to work. But... I think we've always had a belief that we were the best team in the region. I think we talked about it all the time. It um, doesn't mean you're going to win every game, but um, you know, I do think uh, that, that 
just didn't play well for lack of, you know, better understanding. And really it was just our impatience in the paint, our maybe shooting through hands and just not uh, not having awareness of, of what to do once we got it deep near the rim. Roy, can you just take us through the last play of the game, what the plan was? You were curling out of, uh, out of paint and the lob, I guess it was a lob to you for the last shot. Oh, well, uh, Coach drew a good play. Um, he had him a little food and... Just a nice play call, but uh, just a little fumble, and you know somebody had win, somebody lose. Just a little for mishandle down there. Coach, your thoughts on that? Yeah, it's uh, you know the other night we called a, a play and, and we made a great shot, and um, tonight we called a play and uh, didn't go in. You know we had a play before that that wasn't designed real well. I didn't do a good job of that one. I think your job as a coach, you're trying to help these guys as much as you can. Sometimes that's play calling, but at the end of the day, um, sometimes they work really well and. Uh, sometimes they didn't. I, I thought we got a clean look, but um, again, we had some layups before that that we could have made that could have made it a little bit easier for us. Um, just didn't go down. So, but uh, yeah, the other night it paid off after a timeout on a bob, and tonight it didn't. But uh, yeah, uh, it was it was a good attempt, and obviously it was uh, it was, it was close. It was close. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. Safe travels. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Okay, terrific job tonight. Thank you.